Hey chairs, welcome back to Minecraft. Smack. Where the heck? Oh yeah, I was mining trees. Hmm. Mm, yeah. I should really have a location for a carrot chest. Don't I have like a million chests in here? Yeah. I think it would make sense to have the chest down here. Okay. Put it there for now. Let's see how much wood we can gather. I'm also going to need more cobble. I'm not sure I'm going to get that. I guess I could expand the mine, which would also give me a shitload more sand. Sand is becoming... that chest is almost full, which is a problem. I guess maybe it isn't. I could just make more charcoal and then make more glass, I guess. Or just put a second chest. Yeah, like, no problem, right? Make a second sand chest. And then a third sand chest. Fill all three sand chests, then fill three chests of glass. Carrots don't seem like they're as filling this bread, but they're way easier to get. I, my wheat farm is not very fun to harvest. Like, way a mile away, and then once you're there, it fills up your whole inventory with seeds. I mean, it makes sense, and I wish more things worked like that, but at the same time, Harvesting carrots or pumpkins or melons is way easier. Melons and pumpkins especially, you don't have to replant anything, they're just ready to go. All you do is take the mature the mature plant, move it out of the way, and then another one will grow in like two seconds. Wheat, not only do you have to replant it, it fills your inventory with two different blocks. There's a resource block and a block that is used to replant it. It's just a mess, and not very fun to do. Carrots, potatoes, beetroot are very easy. The mature plant, the drop that they give, and the thing you use to replant them are all the same thing. It's very easy to deal with. Okay, spruce sapling. I can't believe this little area over here was a third of a double chest. But I guess maybe that's a good thing. It means I'm gonna get a lot more wood than I first predicted. There are quite a few big trees over here compared to before, though. I guess maybe that's an incorrect statement. Because I mind a shitload of little trees. Quite a few. Wood RNG is annoying. Okay, guys. It's like the only place they can spawn. It is a little bit lit up over there. Still can't really see. Lots of trees in the way. Eventually you'll be able to see the village, maybe. Might not be loaded. I think it's like 200 blocks away. That should be loaded. 16 chunks is way more than 200. Actually, maybe it isn't. I don't know what 16 times 16 is. 56. I don't know what this... I guess the sound I'm hearing is part of the music. I thought it was a creeper's footsteps. Because, <laughs> of course, I think everything is creeper footsteps. Destroy these. I guess I'll take the seed. So I'm gonna probably break a lot of grass, and then we can use that to get bone meal. That is true. I guess I could go harvest more wheat. Not only is it a more efficient food source, I get a bunch of bone meal out of it. Any extra seeds. However, it makes me really want to set up an auto clicker on my right mouse button. Because it takes a lot of clicking. I'm not a huge fan of that. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I've done it before, 
I just don't remember what auto hotkey de decides the right click is. It's like I know what it wanted to do, but how do I do it? My mouse comes with a program that lets you set up a macro, but that one's a little glitchy and doesn't work as well. Auto hotkey works in more programs. If you try to use the macro with my mouse that my mouse comes with in League of Legends, for example, it'll disconnect you from the game and then reconnect you on every frame. Which is great if you like trolling people, but like not great if you want to play the game. So yeah. Auto hockey is the clear winner. But I don't know, I guess just right underscore click. I don't know. For now, I'll just keep clicking normally until it gets annoying. If it annoys me enough, I'll look into setting up a right click auto clicker for that. Auto clickers in Minecraft are funny looking. Because you're really only limited by your speed that you can click. Which is pretty cool. Like, your performance isn't limited by the game, it's limited by you. Lots of leaves in the way. Mostly the big trees blocking my sight, but I guess I don't discriminate. I'll, I'll take it. No matter where I get the wood from. And improving my sight also has the upside of inspiring me to do more terraforming. I don't know if I got it or not. Because now I can see this ugly landscape over here, which makes me want to. Hello? No phone, I don't. I, it says, my phone keeps saying this, it's like, tap here to agree to something or another, and then I tap there, and it doesn't make me agree to it at all. It takes me to a long, long-winded thing that doesn't even work. Here, I'll humor my, I'll humor my phone. Tap here to agree to a new privacy thing. I tap on it. Policies update. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Continue agree to updated terms and conditions, special terms, notice of financial incentives, check out the following options. Don't care, agree. Wow, it actually worked. Usually it takes me to a completely separate screen like four times and doesn't let me agree at all. I guess they realized Okay, it's the that's a spruce thing spinning for fun. More mushrooms. More trees. Well, maybe now that I agree to that thing, my phone will leave me alone. <laughs> that would be nice. How tall are you? Thank you. It's nice to have a block that instamines everything, except for other blocks. Hoes are nice. Destroy as many leaves as you want without accidentally destroying dirt. Or anything else. Lots of mossy cobble. Time to use for building, I'm sure. Failed world regen. Or world edit, I guess. World regen is not even a thing. 
smashed my face on the tree. Can I reach? Nope. It's for you, big tree. Get annihilated. Bunch of seeds. Bunch of leaves which aren't disappearing. Oop. Bunch of failed part four. Okay, please just let me out. Wait, what? What? Why is there a floating. What the hell? Is this. Why is there a floating spruce tree? I didn't do this. Did I? Maybe it got struck by lightning. That must be the case. It got struck by lightning. Weird. I don't remember if I saw pigs in the village or if I'm hallucinating, but I thought I saw pigs in that village. Which would be nice. But I also don't know where I'd put them, I guess, with the chickens. Okay, weird cursed tree in the sky has been defeated. Okay, anybody else? I guess I'll get rid of these trees over here now. Mow the lawn. Is this gonna be another tall tree? Trying to axe crit the ferns. Doesn't really work. Okay, this, yeah, I can't reach. More trees defeated. They are my foes. So apparently there's a dude, I forget his name, it's like Zim Zimu Void? Zumus Void? He's somebody that I've watched on and off for his uh, coverage of Minecraft updates in the snapshot and he has a part he has 1100 part Minecraft let's play he's doing way better than me and then there's Ethoslam who has a 500 part Minecraft let's play I'm only on part 160 something I think Unless this is 170. But, uh, yeah, my contemporaries have way more videos of me. I wonder how that's gonna look in a year from now. Because I'm, these videos are low effort as hell. They gotta worry about maintaining a viewer base. I gotta just worry about maintaining my sanity, which is pretty easy to do. At least so far. Um, usually I play games like this for about two months before getting bored. Sometimes four months, but usually two months. But uh, whenever I'm playing Terraria, usually it's higher stress. It's a higher stress situation. So that, yeah, obviously that's going to tire me out quicker. This is really low stress. I have nothing to worry about. All I'm doing having fun playing Minecraft and recording it, so. I can probably play this for longer than I would play Terraria. Also, I've played this game way less than Terraria. Terraria, i played like 5,000 something hours. And I've done everything multiple times. This game, I have not done many things. So maybe since it's new, it's a newer experience, play it for longer. That would make sense. Maybe with these two factors I can have 1,000 episode Minecraft Let's Play. That'd be pretty neat. But for now I gotta end the video I guess. So, that's a thing. See ya!